What's up guys? So as most of you all know, I'm going up to Edinburgh Fringe this year and tickets are now on sale. I'm going to be over the Hoot and Annie's at Apex Hotels on Grass Market 4th through to the 20th of August. I've got two shows. I might even be there now actually, depending on when you're listening to this. But either way, I've got two shows. I've got a solo show at 4.30pm and I've got a compilation show at 9pm every day. Both shows are at the same venue. All the links and all the tickets are going to be in the description wherever you're listening to this. Come down. I really appreciate it. I'd love to see you there. Your mum wants to get railed everywhere. <laughs> Is that DK Nicholson dripping? <laughs> what if a fella threw up and shat all over you? Can you imagine going to a swingers event and getting rejected? I'll just do a right turn. I'm pretty sure I got scammed today. I am a pillow princess. I'm fine with it. In fact, I'm not a pillow princess. I'm a pillow fucking queen. I don't like to start the podcast with a disclaimer. Okay. But I feel like I need to today. Right. Because I've been in the office all day and I've done the drive with you in the mm-hmm. car for what, like an hour, hour and ten. We're talking like nine, ten straight hours. I've been holding in farts and I can't take it any longer. You hold in farts at work? I have to. I'm why? that flatulent. But why though? You hold them in at work. You've heard mine. It sounds like Daffy Duck. Like it's loud. I can't I can't keep it quiet. This is yeah, we're talking about farts, okay? That's how we're starting the episode. Very highbrow content. Yeah. Uh, yeah. no, I've like, been really misled. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was about politics. I thought we were gonna sit to discuss oh, politics yeah. and the issues with oh, the world. Boris sorry. Johnson, get rid. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. <laughs> no, what what it is, like, what it is, Kay. Uh, we talk about asses, they talk out of their ass. Oh, <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. Oh, Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> and now it's Fred negative. <laughs> it's just a warning, basically. Yeah, Great. you might sink the gaff out. I might like I- I'm in pain. You know when you're in pain, but I've got to I've got to try my best to keep control. Okay, I actually right. think hold that thought. Hold that thought. What are you gonna do? Oh, he's got spray. He's yeah. <laughs> We are prepared for um, such an event. Emergency glade. What flavour is it? What flavour? <laughs> Why are you <laughs> eating it? <laughs> it? Yeah. I'm well, fucking E6 getting to your desk. It's man cave, which my mum has in the bathroom. It's man cave. Man cave. <laughs> Surprise, never just seen, a can of Lynx Africa. Never seen anything more toxic masculinity in my life than this fucking the worst part is, We're cultivating like, a culture here. I've got air freshener in, air f- in there for this studio, and it's called Ocean Breeze. That's my mum's. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I just wanted to smell of men. Your, your mum loves Yeah, that's dick. how lonely she is. Your yeah. mum wants to get railed everywhere. <laughs> I hope she she's, next door. Yeah, she is. She is. And she's babysitting actually uh, <laughs> some massive black guy no I'm joking um, <laughs> your mum wants to get railed everywhere uh, now funny. that's a sound bite you're yeah. usually my mum wants a man in her cave am I right <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. so you stink yes yeah. no I, no. I have the potential to I said yes just dead like we've this. all got yes. the potential to but it's very like like well, I'm at war with it now do you, like, do you like the other, you know, we did that gig together and yeah. the stage was really squeaky. Oh, creaky, yeah. So in the back of your mind, you the whole time you're thinking, don't move, you've mm-hmm. got that voice. That I've got that for this podcast. Don't fart. Oh, Hold okay. It in. Like, so I'm <laughs> half... Well, I, I just want to say um, thank you for your service and the sacrifice that you're making. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm a hero. I saved Kay. Oh, he did. He saved hero. me. You saved. Yeah, you mentioned this on Hatties, and then I figured you wanted to save it for Kay's Because episode. I want everyone Hattie to know that I am actually yeah. an all right guy. So I was um, not not good. All oh, right, just fine, yeah. <laughs> just decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half, Sub, the bare half. minimum yeah. that you expected. Half a man. decent. <laughs> no, I was I was um we were doing a gig in Newton Lou Willows, weren't we? No, it was Haydock, but whatever, same thing. Well, okay, How you're all, you're all wigging uh, for Alex. How was it? Oh, good. good yeah, I've done it good. twice now. Um, yeah, because yeah, I did it with you, didn't yeah, I? Oh my god, I've done, it, I've done the gig with both of you. Yeah. Oh, I'm such a slag. Um, <laughs> hey, she could have done saved and we saving A hey, that night. Fuck yeah. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> yeah. A toxic masculinity. He's been spraying too much man cave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, because the train station is Newton the Willows. Ah, That's why. Yeah, so yeah. I got off on Newton the Willows. And, um, and I was walking to the gig and my brolly had broke. And it was Dogs. raining. It was fucking chucking it down. Chucking it down. I, saw, I put that two and two together. Cheers. Yeah, imagine. Yeah, I brought, it's just a yeah, problem with so <laughs> oh, yeah. um, Doing a Mary Poppins impression. Um, and I was uh, walking down and I was like, this is so fucking stupid. Like, I'm getting 
soaked, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then this car just pulled up next to me and I was like, okay, right, well, I'm getting raped, cool. Um, <laughs> but it was worse, it was Liam. Yeah. <laughs> get in. Uh, and it was just Liam and he went, get in. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, like okay. In my head, it was like Terminator. Just yeah, like, yeah. come with me if you want to live. Like, I thought I was being like a hero, but everyone's like, that is so dodgy. Like, I saw, I saw Kay, like, peripheral, and I thought, is that air? And I knew it was pissing down, obviously. And I was like, if she gets to the gig. Is that the K Nicholson? Yeah, it's that. Is that, <laughs> is that the K Nicholson? Is that the K Nicholson hair? absolutely soaking wet? I mean, <laughs> like, crying. Is that, is, is that, is that, that it? Is that the K Nicholson dripping? Um, <laughs> you got, you got to bear in mind the problem in my mind, though, is like, if it's not K and I do a Yui oh, on this empty road, yeah, how dodgy is that going to look? Yeah, and I just yeah, thought yeah, yeah. I would rather live with some random woman being petrified that I was going to abduct her than Kay turning That's up to that gig. <laughs> <laughs> Kay turning up to that gig, piss went through. I thought, I'm not going to chance it. I'll do the Yui and I'll save her. I've seen you drive. Oh, Should have been quicker yeah. walking. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been quicker walking to the studio today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So you saved her. That's yeah. nice, though. He did. He saved me. And then he gave me a lift home as well, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Regretted that. Yeah. Why? When, uh, when, like when, a I, when I went out my way, didn't I? It was like double the journey time. You didn't go out your way. Did proper, you me. didn't go out your way. <laughs> you, you didn't. You just dropped oh. me off in town. Do you know what though? Do you know when you overthink? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you just he lives four minutes I from know. town. No, well, you know, no. But there's some mackies on the way home, and the wait was terrible. <laughs> so you did cost me time. That's not my fault. Okay. <laughs> I did overthink a social interaction though. As we, did you? yeah, like it. Uh, do you know when? Uh, That's not like you. Yeah, I know. Do you know when you say <laughs> bye to someone? Have yeah? we, sorry to interrupt, but have we speaking of you fucking up social interactions? Have we ever talked about? what you did to Paul Smith after the Apple Word Arena show. Have we ever Why talked about it? Why are you bringing that up? Because <laughs> look at her face. Why are like... you bringing that up? <laughs> what did you do to Paul I didn't Smith? do anything to him. I don't really know him. Because we, we were all at this party. Yeah. We were all there. We were all there. And Paul is so lovely. For yeah, somebody at his level, he's like so sound he's with like amazing. newer acts. He like remembers your name and stuff and he really makes you feel like you're not just a hanger on. And I was chatting to him for a little bit and he was like going, how are you doing stuff? And he was like, were you at the show? Blah, blah. And we were just chatting for a little bit and he comes over. Oh, and to be fair to Liam, Paul had on some pretty sketchy shoes. Oh, no. The type of shoes um, that you can pull off when you're making money. Yeah, <laughs> you know, when like you drive what? a Lamborghini and that. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. But William came over and just went, what the fuck are them? And then Paul, <laughs> it wasn't Paul went, quite like nice that. Nice to see you, Liam, and just walked away. <laughs> he, made an, he was like being polite and I, just, I didn't, I was just like, I was trying to be one of the boys. I failed. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> anyway, go on. What were you saying? Oh, so dear Lord. Oh, that's, that's like, going to keep me awake at night. Mm. That well, is keeps awful. Paul awake. Yeah, yeah. When, uh, when we said Paul bye to each other. I that night. I wonder where he'd gone. <laughs> when we said bye to each other, you said, uh, right, see you later. Give us a kiss. And yeah. like, they're polite, you know, the little, Mwah. I didn't know the etiquette. I'm like, do we kiss the air next to each other's faces? I give you, do I kiss you on the cheek? This is why you overthink it. Exactly, I did. And exactly. And I kissed you on the cheek and I thought, have, have I been a weirdo there? No. All right, okay, sound. It was weird when you got your dick out. That was when it was weird. <laughs> it was and then brought the it up. Drive. <laughs> that, was, that was the weird thing. The kiss was the least of your worries. But like, did I, Liam C.K. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, very good, very good. Appreciate you. What's that a social faux pas? <laughs> going for what you do? Do you kiss the air? Do you like? No, I don't you understand just, it. You just go, yeah. Like that's just how you say. I'm not bye. normal. No. I can't wait now. <laughs> what you said no, I can't wait now no. for when you, you guys say goodbye. Obviously, we're going to the gig later yeah, and stuff, yeah. but you're not obviously you're not doing the gig tonight. Uh, the gig's going to be a huge loss without you. Though I'm, I'm sad about that. I wish you were. Um, I wish you were because I'd like a lift too. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you want to jump on and do ten? <laughs> um, no, come with me, Crocs. But I can't wait to see you guys say goodbye later. Because I'm gonna make now, it really now awkward. you're both aware of it, it's going to be worse yeah. every single time going forward. I'm hands. not an awkward person you in the slightest, though. Like, I'm really not an awkward person. I don't overthink social interactions at all. Um, that surprises so. me with everything I know about you, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, if I overthought, I've seen you socially. That's really surprising. <laughs> yeah. This is my point. If I overthought social interactions, I'd never, never leave the fucking done. house. I don't so much in the moment. <laughs> it's the afterwards. I think. Do you know? Do you know? Um, I once got a lift home off um, Simon Wozniak, and uh, we got to, we got to mine, and he just went. He looked at me and just went. 
um, what do we do now? <laughs> and I went, what do you mean? And he went, um, get out. <laughs> he was like, do you, do you want to um, fist bump or hug? And I went, you've made this so, so strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went, bye. <laughs> I was like, you absolute fucking weirdo. I was like, I've, I've, been around, I've known what's Niag for a while. So I was just like, I don't under. Oh, it's so weird. It's so weird. I don't know the etiquette. I'm, and I'm not a normal guy. I hissed at a cat yesterday. I hissed at a cat. I was trying to protect my cat. I was being the alpha male. No, honestly, do you know what? <laughs> it's so nice that you're married. Um, <laughs> I, oh, I, I, I actually <laughs> hissed at the cat again on the phone to my wife. Oh. She was going, stop hissing at the cat, you weirdo. Know? Oh, Liam. Yeah. Okay, do you want to do a podcast going yeah. forward? Like, I could yeah. do a new guest yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, How would you react in this situation, though? Which, the, Where a cat, cat is like... So, I fucking hate cats, I wouldn't be there. It's, they're scary as fuck. Well, yeah, I hate cats. They're the devil in like, um, like animal form. I completely back that. I like my cat, but she also is brings in mice idea. and murders them and leaves blood everywhere. She's a... Deb, to be fair, my roommate does that as mad. well. They, they have knives for hands. They're fucked up. Yeah, oh, no, they're horrible. That. That. They are yeah. horrible animals, and if they had opposable thumbs, they'd kill us all. Yeah. They would. That's, that's the only thing <laughs> stopping them. Yeah. <laughs> that is. That's the only <laughs> thing. That's the only thing stopping what is them. The, what, what else is stopping them? There's nothing else stopping them. If they could hold a knife, they'd stab us. Or a gun. <laughs> but do you not think... Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> Cats with guns is fucking next level. Yeah. That's a horror movie, that. <laughs> what was the advert for milk? The same that was kind all of the milk cats were just all, popping up like cats. they were like get the fuck in that was my that was that my bitch. nightmare <laughs> I used to turn it off I was like no, no I was scared of like insidious and the conjuring but you were just like oh fuck it I hate that feeling yeah, but cats are real you know what I mean the yeah, threat's are real, real. The, the, the threat I, I cross over if I see one a cat that likes you can turn on you like that like mm. we've just been cat sitting for me sister-in-law and the cat started like, we got in late one night and she has like these feeders on a timer and we missed their food. So she woke us up at night, which I understood. I went and filled it up. The next night, she knows when feeding time is. She'd fucked off and she'd come back in and she's like pouring at us, trying to wake us up. And we're telling her to fuck off. Joe, we're sleeping here. Get us <laughs> Middle there. finger up at the cat. Yeah, no, literally, <laughs> fuck off, will you? And then, and then she's... She's pouring on our faces, and I went, I've got an idea, and half asleep, I just reached over, and I went like that at her face, and she just fucking scratched me hand, and I was like, I don't know what I thought, I don't know what I thought was going on there. That is very justified, though. Yeah, I think you've got to act like them, and that's why I, I, I like them. <laughs> That's why shitting in a box. Yeah. <laughs> you've got to speak their language, so fuck off in cat is, that's fuck off. <laughs> Good. All right, okay, what's the next topic? <laughs> It was really funny. I've learned from doing the pod with Liam that if you just don't say anything, he'll fill the silence for you and yeah. he makes it weirder and weirder. Yeah. And he makes, it makes for great content. So this cat was going for my he's, cat. He's not done. No, and I just didn't know how to react. How would you react? Do you get a broom and hit it? That can't do that. Yeah, just go. Just just literally just tell the cat to fuck off. Get a broom, do something. Why would you hiss at it? She doesn't speak English, Kay. Doesn't understand the words. <laughs> fucking off together. <laughs> He's a foreign cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's had I don't, speak, I don't speak Dutch, so <laughs> I thought I'd just... Fucking Brexit's not working. <laughs> These foreign cats coming over. This kicking off on our cats. <laughs> you fucking idiot. What the fuck? It doesn't speak English. It, it doesn't speak English, but it speaks cat. So I No, it doesn't, cat. because that's not a language. No, but, like, it's... I went, I went for it. That's a good hiss, I think. No. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll just do a right turn. I'm pretty sure I got scammed today. Oh. oh. Scammed out of five English pounds, mate. So five f- English pounds. Five English, English. pounds, yeah. yeah don't for any cats them. out there, that's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's actually... <laughs> so get it right. <laughs> it's Michael Jackson, that's how he did. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I was walking through Stockport Town Centre, living the dream with Beth, and a guy stopped us and was just sort of like, "Hey, mate, like we're, I, we're from like this company, GVA or something." They they said, and uh, they they basically try to stop violence in like young young men and women and stuff. They're trying to get like support them and put them into sort of like edu- more further education and stuff. And they're just looking for donations essentially. And like this guy had this long spiel, and it was one of those where like he's so in it. That, like there's no ch- there's no opportunity to stop him and interrupt him. Like he's rallying off this script, script that he's yeah. learnt this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like when you see a new act and they like they can't deviate away from it. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's like Bradley uh, Walsh when I went on the chase. He was yeah, like literally yeah. like 
not speaking to me as a person. It was the script he says to everybody. Yeah, really, I was on yeah. telly. Carry on. <laughs> we'll just make this about you if you want. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the, it's like Liam came in and went, right, cats, the chase. And then it just loads of other yeah. topics. <laughs> so you've checked the two off. Hero, I'm a hero. Oh, Speak yeah. Cats. So I'm just hero, giving people facts hero, about me. Scared's a cat, been on the chase. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah. That's and me. Now you speak. The only yeah. reason Bradley Walsh was in the script is because if you thought you get, if he lets you get a word in edgeways, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're not going to, the yeah. show's fucked. Yeah. Um, so but yeah, so he middle. comes over and there was no point to in, like, interrupt him. And he just, he went on and on for so long that I was like, yeah, man, no worries. And I said to him, I did that, I did that proper shit house thing. I went, have you got a card reader hoping they didn't? Did, didn't and he they? did. Yeah, it's 2023. Did. Everyone's got a yeah, fucking man. He's got a card reader. Scammed. You've just donated to a charity. No, but this is the issue, right? So I gave him the five quid. I put, I put a fiver on it. He goes, oh, like, well, it take it costs at least like 25 quid to get into, like, to get for like one person, blah blah blah. So you want to donate a bit more? And I was like, nah, I've, I'm broke too, man. Like, five is all I've got. So he took the fiver, and then I googled the charity, and it doesn't exist. <laughs> Nice. It's no way. It's not on Facebook. I've googled every trigger word that was within that charity. They, they were called GVA. And GVA. Yeah. It what does, does it stand does, for? It didn't tell me. <laughs> so that's your fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. If you yeah. didn't ask what that stood for, that yeah. is your problem. Were there any signs around or anything? He had like a little laminate. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. No, so but that's like enough. A... And he had he had the, he had a shirt on enough. that said GVA and stuff and yeah. But I started to like analyze it afterwards, and I think I was so like because like, usually I would be kind of switched on with that sort of stuff. Yeah. Like I'm quite aware of it, but the charity is combating against the very thing that he just did to me. So you let your guard down. Do you know what I mean? We're against violence. We're against young people offending. We're against all these scammers and stuff like that. So we can't be the scammer. Do you know what I mean? Do you get where I'm going with it? Psychology. I do, but I just think real that hustle. if anything, yeah, if anything, I applaud him. I know, that's oh, it. Yeah, like, no, to be fair, I'm, what a phenomenal scam. Genius. Come away, go and pour Aaron. I've yeah, been what like, a phenomenal scam. He's an yeah. absolute genius. Yeah, yeah. sounds fizz. I, I, uh, <laughs> he, 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 he wasn't. <laughs> he absolutely wasn't. Uh, yeah, he was hissing at cats. <laughs> um, but I, uh, I was so few and I made Beth give me £2.50 so that she was in it with me. Yeah, oh, you don't want to be in alone because no, no. then it is a charity and yeah, your yeah, mum yeah. all given. Yeah, this yeah. Is an event. yeah. <laughs> I'm so bad at like, um, ja like giving to charity. I give to like homeless people, you know, when they ask for change and stuff, but like giving to charities, I just don't. Ever since the guide dogs thing, which I've talked about on the podcast before, yeah. Yeah, it's a I've, bad time in Liam's life. That um, I, quickly I mean, sum I'll, it up, sum basically. Up, the, yeah, each, sum it up. Each, each, I, I'll, I'll sum it up dead quick. So a girl knocked around at a time when I was really like lonely. And she, I was living in It's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She knocked around and I fancied her and she was chatting to me dead nice like she was interested in me. But what she was interested in was getting me to subscribe to the Guide Dogs charity and I right. love dogs. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, sign me up, sign me up. I had a nice little chat with her, signed up for the monthly subscription. And then you hissed away. At her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, cats only. Yeah. <laughs> And I and I was I I signed up for it and she left and I thought why didn't you ask her out I got in my head Joe that overthinking social interactions I was like you've got nothing to lose just go ask her out got so nothing I, to lose so I, except for me <laughs> dignity so I went out into the street I went out after her she hadn't got to the next house yet I was like oh, I was just wondering if you wanted to go out sometime and she was like uh, I've got a boyfriend so I went home I got my phone out my pocket I called up the guide dog charity and I unsubscribed from it then and then. <laughs> Within a second, within like, within like five there minutes. There is some poor bastard out there, right? Not knowing how to get to the shops <laughs> because you unsubscribed because you were thinking what you did. <laughs> know me feelings. No, you wait. Yeah, fuck of off. I you find it really funny, tick. though, that if that girl was blind, Dixon she dogs. might have actually gone out with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had no game. I just had no game. And that was me putting myself out there. I've got a lovely image of you running out like in your Crocs. Just running out. <laughs> just excuse me! Just so excuse, excuse me! <laughs> it's, it's Liam from, from the house. Um, I was wondering um, if you really want to go and hiss at cats with me. <laughs> Thank you. That's so accurate, Kay. It's embarrassing. Oh. It's so accurate. I'm oh so, all I've done is embarrass myself. Why, yeah, why, I can't, why I can't work. Why would you chase after her? That's the... Yeah, no, we've already I've seen too many it, movies like, I thought so, it was romantic. He thought, he thought he was in love, actually. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. It's so ridiculous. I've never, I just never had any game. I was terrible. Like, if I hadn't met my wife, 
I would be on forums. That's how <laughs> You'd have a Reddit account. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'd have one then. Yeah. <laughs> right, in your little fan fiction. Oh. Harry and Hermione. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the room of requirements. Draco and Harry couldn't resist each other. And they slivered in. Um, yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Um, I'm going to raise it when I get in. Yeah. I, I believe Rob you. Watched. I, I believe, believe you. you. I yeah. believe Rod watch. <laughs> I'm Rod. Oh, uh, God. So, yeah. Um, cats. What were we talking about? Yeah, <laughs> no, I can't. I, 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 I struggle with like, charities and that. Have I talked about the, like, the homeless guy that I used to give to in Manchester and then I saw him get like walk into a back block of flats on Edgley? Have I talked about that before? No. Yeah. So, when uh, when I was with like an ex girlfriend, we walked past this homeless guy and. Uh, and he had like the same How type How disgusting of... is it that you were with anyone, just like anyone ever that wasn't I know, Beth? I know. It does make me so sad. Bad. It does make me yeah. sad. Like, and I'm, like, I'm really bad for like memory and stuff. So like the first like year of our relationship, like I'd be like, did I do that with you? Oh my God. And you'd ask her. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And like, she'd be like, no, no, you didn't. But now we've been together. It's four years today. Oh How yeah. Happy anniversary. Yeah. Uh, she's a lucky, lucky girl. Yeah. Um, okay. Mm. So I, I just love you. You two as a couple are my favorite no, thing. Her is she, she's. I love the thing. two of them. Her, her as a couple. You're calling my girlfriend fat. <laughs> <laughs> are you I'm fucking? Gonna, I'm gonna fuck off. <laughs> I'm gonna go fart fucking, outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take this with you. Take the band cave with you. Um, why do you love us as a couple? I just Tell, do. Tell I me. just. I love you. I love you. I just think you're great. And I remember, do you remember when, I, when you did me a gig at the Baltic, and um, you were, we, we were, we were just uh, chatting about Beth and stuff, and, um, and then I was at the, the bar, and we were just chatting, and um, someone said that you look like uh, the side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, get, I get so yeah, much shit does, like yeah. that. Yeah. And then, I've and had, uh, Sl- Slugger Man as well. He's like an old YouTuber, Sluggo Man. I don't, I don't fucking know. And I've had uh, Kai Havertz from Ever- uh, is it Everton or Chelsea or something? Not Everton. Chelsea. Mm, Kai Havertz, yeah, I got that a lot when I was on Hot Water's Green Room. Someone uh, commented saying, who invited Kai Havertz? And it was like 2,000 likes. I was fucking fuming. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry, carry on. Yeah, yeah. Wait, and, and I, easy. Yeah, and I remember someone said it and I was like, uh, oh, do you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think, think, think you look like him at all, really. And then I was at the bar showing them pictures of him and Beth. Like, don't they look like a Love Island couple? <laughs> Fucking that old live on Love Island like, and with his porch. Like a proper, fucking like a <laughs> massive fan of this couple, like <laughs> the great auntie. <laughs> so I'd be so. the only one on Love Island with a personality though, so that's yeah, ideal. Exactly. Yeah. And a brain. What? I would yeah. love to see you and Beth on that <laughs> open house show. Do you know that one the on Channel one. 4? Have yeah. you seen that show? What a show, by the way. Have we spoke about it on here? Where the organs have their ghosts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've, caught, I've caught a couple of episodes it's of it. It's so good. The, oh, my God. It really shows you how horrific people are. Did you watch that one where they um, you know, had the threesome and the fella got dead angry? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought yeah. Hilarious but there's so there's on, so on many the like that. Yeah, he felt left that out. That was in the first season. Oh. But like in the in the teaser, it made him look like he was being a proper fanny. But then when you watch it, she was she, a Oh, such I a remember dickhead. now, yeah, because yeah, she said to him, it was like two girls, wasn't it? And she went, Bet why you feel you like why yeah, why you need me or something like, like that. She <laughs> Yeah, she was the dick to him. He had every right yeah. to fucking smack that lamp. Just fucking just watch. Yeah. yeah, be Ron Weasley. Just yeah, watch. like I don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I messaged Beth the other day. I said, uh, "Oh, like, this is genuinely true." I messaged her the other day. She was in work, and I just woken up, um, and I said, "Oh, I had a dream last night that you cheated on me," and she was like, "Oh, I've had them before about you, and it's horrible. I'm so sorry." I was like, "No, it wasn't." She was like, "What?" I was like, "No, it was great. I had a great time." So I'm so confused. I was like, well, I was there and she was female. So it was a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm actually going to go twist. back to sleep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so fucking, I had a great night. I had an absolutely phenomenal night. Um, what was I going to say though? I was going to say the open something. house thing. Yeah, the open house. Like the new season's out and me and Beth can't get enough of it. Like it's, oh, I, I find I'm it just it. absolutely fascinating. But the people on there are fucking horrible. Men, women, they're all so horrific. Like they've gone like with the devil woman. And Joe, you know it's hilarious. Like, me and Kay have been together for four years and it's on the rocks. It's horrific. <laughs> it's the worst relationship yeah. you've ever seen. We should be, we should have split up. It's so bad. Do you know what will make this so much better? If someone I watch else. her get railed by someone else, that'll that'll really help everything. <laughs> it's so shit. The most idiotic people. And I love the, uh, for anyone that hasn't watched it, it's Open House on Channel 4. Of course it's on Channel 4. Obviously. And it's so fucking good. Because you have like that psychiatrist woman. I'm not trying to mansplain the fucking show to the, when you've seen it. But she's called Dr. Laurie Beth. And her advice is, why don't you just um, 
Try again. <laughs> yeah, it is. She's so so uh, I'm screaming. Are you a medical professional? Because <laughs> she just seems to be like pushing them further into so it. So I think you should try again. Yeah, it's it's so horrible though because like this guy will have like genuine reservations about it, and that doctor and his missus will sit there and tell him that he's not a real man because he doesn't want to watch his missus get fucked. It's insane. I did so I insane. S- I saw one that sticks with me because it was so funny watching the swingers Real. reaction so you've got the people who, who were in the house who are the swingers yeah mm-hmm. and there was this like there was this couple who you'd seen on previous episodes being a couple but this uh, girl and uh, the like visiting couple was interested in just being with another woman and he was not going to be involved and he was just going to like watch that was like their agreement so she's speaking to all the women and that woman who's got a fella was separate on her own away from him and she like they got close they had a little fool around they had a play they had a kiss and she was going my God, I wasn't even thinking about him. Joe was saying, that the, like, how much she likes this girl. Like, oh, I think it could be, like, a serious thing. And she's, like, building up to her fella. Like, could you, like, be in a, you know, a full relationship with another woman, but you not do anything? And he was like, if that's what makes you happy, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she goes to propose it to this woman. And the woman's like, I think you've got the wrong end of the stick there. Yeah, yeah, Joe, it was so one, yeah. funny watching her be like, what? Like, yeah, you've yeah. gone... You've gone mad. You, I'm trying to convince you to be a part of this lifestyle, but no, it's not yeah, for you because yeah, yeah. you've gone off the fucking deep end. I, I would one. be mortified. Can you imagine <laughs> going to a swingers event and getting rejected? Well, I, I watched kill one. Myself? I watched one. I and this, would this, absolutely. This couple went in and he was proper cocksure. He was like buzzing, like his missus was going to go off, off with some woman he was going to be able to watch and stuff. And he was absolutely buzzing. And then this doctor said, like, uh, why don't you guys do like a couple thing? So everyone gets a, <laughs> like, uh, like everyone's sort of in the same boat. So she, uh, so she was like, his missus was like, yeah, that does sound better. That sounds more fair. I'd be more open to that. It's not less, there's less pressure on everything because you're all just doing your own thing. He was having absolutely none of it. But then he slowly sort of came around to the idea because he was being such a dickhead. Like he wanted his cake and to eat it as well. Yeah. He, had, he wanted yeah. her to get no pleasure. We just wanted to watch her. No, but you know he I mean? wanted her to get pleasure. She was open to being with girls, but he just wanted, it he was just selfish, wanted to be, Yeah, it was awful. very, very selfish. Yeah. But then they went to, he came around to the idea and when they... <laughs> They, they went downstairs and they just like got chatting to like these women and stuff like they kept approaching these girls and like mate they got rejected four times in a row yeah for him oh, though no. and it, it, you could it see him getting in his awful. feels joe so what was great awful, about them because is- he was butters wasn't he he's proper oh, like his hairline's oh, back here yeah. he's podgy and that he had braids he was my stuff, spirit like, animal <laughs> But like he was, I I was so okay with it because of how much of a belly was being. Yeah, you know what I mean, I was like, you deserve this. Yeah, you des- yeah. Like the I best just part don't was. I understand why you'd go on them shows, but it's the people that go on and go. I'm actually like quite shy and retiring, so yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. this is a really big step for me. Yeah, no, yeah. fuck off. Go for a meal on your own. Don't go on <laughs> Channel Four and and get your dick out. That's not. I know. It's the worst one's naked attraction. It, I love that I show. Fuck, I, I love that show, but why I can't go on? Get you know, I'm just really trying to come out my shell. Yeah, yeah. Don't literally come out your shell. <laughs> Put your shell back stupid. on. I've seen too oh, much. I honestly. I live for it though, man. I find it so fucking funny. I, I love shit like. That. Could you be in a in like a swinging couple? Could you do it? Could I bollocks? Well, why are you here then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is me audition Fuck off. for that, right? <laughs> We've been on the rocks for a while and we think you'd really help, okay? I'm like, I'm a bit bit on the fence with this one. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know I got off to three some months? Okay, more, please. Uh, (laughs) And that's the end. Um, No, um... So I I was in um, the the hotel that I do a a lot work in. Yeah, yeah. um, And it was a, a Friday. We were having drinks for, I think someone was leaving or whatever. And it was only us in there um, at this point. And we were all absolutely rotten drunk. And these this these two people came in, a couple. And I and I could. I mean, have you have you you seen me drunk, haven't you? Boy yeah. girl, boy boy girl yeah. girl. Uh, a, a girl and a well, a man and a woman. Okay. Um, and when I'm drunk, I'm a very happy drunk, and I'm also quite naive when I'm drunk. So okay. I like bounced over to them, and I was like, "Hey guys, what are you doing? What are you doing?" Ah! Like, just like, for, for like, oh, <laughs> you looked keen. <laughs> well, I, was, I, was, I was just, there was no one else in there. Like, and they were just out on the road, and I was like, come join us, come on. That was me with the guy dog scale. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> at the door. The <laughs> um, so, so we would, I was just chatting to them, and, and she was like, oh, um, 
he's staying in the hotel and I've been on a night out with my friends, but they've all gone and I've met him tonight. So we've stayed out together and I've come back with him. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, what an absolutely gorgeous love story. I think that, <laughs> honestly. Singing Taylor Swift that, anthem. Like, Romeo, nah. take me. Is this, is this a couple of... I'm not talking about Taylor Swift uh, right now. <coughs> Sorry. And I will ex- I'll, ex- I'll explain yeah. mine in a minute. Fine. Very, very upset. It's really, really bad moments. Um, but yeah, so I was just like, oh my God, what a gorgeous story. Like, I, I'm, 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 so, I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> <sighs> Eye rolling yourself. Honestly. And then, and, and then, so they, so we were just chatting and stuff. And, um, and then they were like, would you mind showing us how we get up to the room? Like where the lift is. And I was like, oh my God, you can't come up me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking drinking my hands. Like, hey. um, and, uh, and we get to the lift and um, I can't remember which one of them says it, but <laughs> I think it was the woman. She said, listen. It has to be the woman. It's weirder with the bloke. Uh, yeah, I yeah. think it was the <laughs> woman. I'm pretty, I feel like I would have known if it was yeah. the man. And she went, listen, we're actually a married couple, but we've been role playing. This is like one of our fantasies. Oh, that that's weird. That if you hadn't admit, admitted that, 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 that I, I went opposite. I went, ooh. You went weird. I went. Yeah. And I and they went. And one of our big fantasies is to like have a third person. Carl K. Nicholson. Carl K. Nicholson. <laughs> such, <laughs> such coincidence. And, uh, it's so mad. Um, and and we would really like it to be you. And I, honest to God, there was a small part of me that genuinely went. It would be so rude if I said no. Like I genuinely, it was the like people please, I brought, uh... but there was a massive part of me that was like, I do not want to upset them. Um, so I literally went, oh, thank you very much for the offer. Um, I'm gonna decline this time. Um, <laughs> but time. Have, have a wonderful evening. Uh, take care. <laughs> and then I ran. Out of that, like literally, so I had my mate ringing me, where the fuck have you gone? And I was like, I just need to get home. <laughs> I've just been prepositioned. It was horrible. And I ran. Yeah, I, I ran. I, for a split second, I thought you were going to say that when they said that to you, you broke down in tears like you'd won an award. Um, <laughs> and I was just like, put no, them off. No, thank God. Out, like you were happy. <laughs> thank, no, I literally, but there was a massive part of me that was like, I don't want to hurt the feelings. <laughs> yeah. But also, no, thank you. Yeah. Like it, it was no part of you ever like this will be a great story. It, no, because they were they were like they were older than me. Like they right, were yeah, old, so it's weird, older. Isn't it? I, I think it's like, weird the the process of what they did and the way they did it. Like we've been role playing because this last two hours that I've spent with you, maybe I don't know how long it was, maybe yeah. an hour or whatever. But that's all a lie now, and you, you you're a bit that. weird now, yeah, yeah. and I find you a bit odd. But if you were just like, listen, we're pretty horny. And like, I'm gonna go and shag this guy. If you want to be involved, I sort of, that's more easy going. And you go, eh, maybe, but yeah, fuck when, it. Like, but like, when in... you're really propositioned and they've like they've <laughs> dropped so much on Just you, that want a reaction to it. Eh, yeah. <laughs> that's how I would be though. Yeah. But it was like, but but as well, where the where, where they asked me was outside the lift. But you've got to go through a door to get to the lift. So I was essentially trapped in like a cube with oh, them. Oh yeah, so it's and not I was like, like so I was like. Oh, that's actually no. quite full on. Yeah, well, this is it. It's being asked gone... in, 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 in an encased in a, environment where you can't. Yeah. I, yeah. And, and, I was, and I was just like, I uh, no. And, and there's I, also, sorry to insult the no. element of like, will you show us to our room? So they're trying to make it You're really already on the way, to yeah. say no. Yeah, that's, mm, I don't like it that. Was, it was, it was uh, quite, quite intimidating. Yeah. Um, and I ran really, really far, far, well, far Well, like away. you said, there was that part of you that went, oh, I don't want to upset them. We're friends. We've had a good time. Like, yeah, like my, the drunken brain in me was like, they're just trying to enjoy themselves. Yeah. <laughs> you You've could, ruined you, their evening. You could save their marriage. There could be, <laughs> there could be kids in, but you don't want them to grow up in a broken home, Kay. You could save Get it or you could ruin out, it. Like, <laughs> honest to fucking God. Um, thank, thankfully, I, I, I legged it. Yeah. And I was like, no, thank you. And then I never went back to the hotel for about two weeks. So I was absolutely terrified that I'd run into them. Yeah, I never did. I don't know where they are. Hello, think. if you're watching. <laughs> um, if you are watching, uh, drop me and Beth a message. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've got merch. Finally, we've got merch. We've been talking about doing this for ages and we've finally made it happen. We've got our own online store at spreadnegativitypod.com. We're selling t-shirts with logos. We're selling queefs. Whatever you want, we've got it. <laughs> We're selling queefs in a jar if you want one. <laughs> <laughs> 
video. We've got beanies, mugs, phone cases, loads of stuff like that. So check it out. But if you do order something, and I cannot stress this enough, order one size up. I'm a large, structural large in most things. I've got a 2XL in this. Liam, you'll notice, doesn't even have a hoodie yet because I'm still making his out of a bed sheet, right? Proper nightmare stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Check us out, spreadnegativitypod.com. If there's anything that you want and you don't see, let us know. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, we'll sort it out. And we will get better at these adverts as time goes on. Features? Yeah, baby. Lovely Features. stuff. Features. Okay, so we've had one sent in by a listener. Uh, they want to tell us about the absolute worst moment of their life, they say. They want to be kept anonymous also. It's exciting. Oh, you that's do- all you know. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cause we could say. Uh, if you do want to send anything in, spread negativity part at gmail.com. We'd really appreciate it. Send us the worst thing you've ever done, the worst moment of your life, the worst thing somebody in your life has done. I don't know. So all that good stuff. Questions, whatever, whatever you want to send in. We would appreciate it. So... This one says here, uh, let's see. Hey guys, I want to tell you about the absolute worst moment of my life. A few years back, I was on holiday with one of my friends. We were having a lovely time. We'd made some more friends while we were there and it was the holiday of a lifetime. We stopped off at a restaurant one day to grab lunch. I ordered a chicken paella thingamajig and this was where my problem started. While on the holiday, I'd been (laughs) getting... I think chicken paella was an accurate description. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or, or some fucking rice based yeah. dish. <laughs> She's very, chicken paella thing, you I'm, I'm getting big, like Geordie vibes off this yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, chicken paella thing, you <laughs> Well, on the oh. holiday, I'd been getting close with this guy we met. We'd been hanging out and flirting and kissed a little. It became a real holiday romance. On the same day we went to this restaurant, we all went out drinking that evening. One thing led to another with this guy and ended up back in his room. Everything was going good. He was gorgeous. I was looking my best and we were about to have a great night together. Next minute, I start to feel unwell. Not wanting to ruin the mood, I didn't bother saying anything. Thought I just had cramps and carried on. You might be able to guess where this is going. <laughs> She didn't have the willpower I did today. No. She didn't have a man cave spray. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's worse. Um, <laughs> oh no. He's railing me from behind and I start to feel like I'm going to throw up. Before I can even say anything to him, I start projectile vomiting all over his bed. He panics like fuck and pulls out. He runs to get some sort of bucket for me and I continue throwing up. In the midst of it all, I completely forget to control my bowels and when he returns, he discovers that not only have I spewed all over his bed, but I've shit myself as well. She's doubled. (laughs) Let's come out both ends. Now I'm laying there wondering what the fuck is happening to me, struggling to breathe, covered in my own vomit and shit while this gorgeous man wonders what he's got himself into. I eventually stop. He gets me into the shower and then I go back to my own room. I spent the whole next day in bed vomiting and we flew home the following day. I never saw him again. Do you think he still remembers me? Yeah, he tells me. Of course he does. Of course he does. She was some shit vomit finger majiggy. He has 100% done open my comedy and told that story. Yeah, I wrote this. Yeah, yeah. uh... (laughs) He's on the circuit. You've given him a career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just, do you know what? This, this, do you know what? I'm actually really glad she told the story because this, this is what, do you know what her problem was there? Go on. That she was getting rail from behind. <gasps> Why's the problem? Because oh, you're, you're this, going is, that way, are you? this okay. is why you should be a fucking pillow princess. <laughs> this is why. You're, you're this speaking is best why so much. <laughs> I, so, so I'm really, God, you know what? God bless you, Gail. God fucking bless you. You know what? It happens. She didn't sneeze. She's you fucking shat and threw up everywhere. You know, this is why you don't order something called a chicken paella thing. You <laughs> like, um, <laughs> but, um, this no is, seafood before rail. If you rail. feel sick, you just lie down. Just lie down. And, and, and then you'll be all right. Then don't, don't try and do... Moves? Is, is it the like same? That? Moves? Lie down or stay on your knees? It's like the same sort of stationary. It's, it's not at all. If you're, you, if you've not done, if you're not, if you're not experimenting with different positions than that. She was getting rail from behind. I just presumed, doggy. Yeah, no, but like, yeah, of course I have. But you just, a, oh, okay. I was just trying to say, is doggy less stationary? Uh, yeah, because yeah, he's is, pulling on her hair and stuff, and yeah, he's throwing and like it you've into got a, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving like yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking, you're making me uncomfortable. Back and forth, and <laughs> there's a lot of that him. going on. He's like hissing yeah. at her and that. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's doing my moves. I was on the chase. <laughs> <laughs> Bradley Walsh said that to me. Bradley Walsh said that to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want my lower offer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go, go any higher. <laughs> you've been caught by the chaser. Uh, I'm the beast. I'm the beast. It's me. I'm the dark Say destroyer. It. It. The dark destroyer. <laughs> uh, they call me the dark destroyer. Man. Nah, mate. This is uh, why. Bloody. This is why you'd be a pillow, be princess. A pillow princess. Yeah, yeah. Really, really glad. Just, that this I is. love the idea in your head that this doesn't happen at all if she's just lay on. It wouldn't her have. Back. 
And I don't know. if she'd have shit herself. She has food poisoning. But, it doesn't no, just turn she, off. Like. But if she'd have shit herself, she'd have been on her back, so we probably wouldn't have seen it. Yeah, you're right. That does happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Being on your being like, if your stomach's fucking. I get it. I get what you're saying. I don't have the scientific no, I do understand. Mindset, I feel like if, she, a, if she'd have dip. been on her back, she'd have probably had the like sense to have been like, I need to get up and go to the yeah. toilet. And also, if you're throwing mm. up in the toilet, you're on your knees. No, but it says, it says here, though, position. it says before I could, like, I start to feel sick, and then before I could even say anything, I started projectile vomiting. But yeah. she, so wouldn't, like she it wouldn't, have, wouldn't have come on her that if fast. She if she was a pillow princess. Maybe, yeah. princess. What's a pillow princess, just for context? Oh, for How context. Can you not figure that out? I, don't, I know what a pillow princess is, but the listeners oh, okay. might know <laughs> it's a podcast again. It's called <laughs> <So> Exposition. <laughs> so. Yeah, but it is you at the same time. <laughs> what, what is that again? <laughs> Where was the princess? <laughs> So please tell me. Pill- for the listener. So so basically, it's come to light recently. <laughs> Go on, make your speech. That That's why I... you didn't have the freeze a minute. Yeah. <laughs> you won't want me. I don't do yeah. fuck all. <laughs> it's come to light recently that I am what's known as a pillow princess, <laughs> which basically means I don't move much during sex and just stay with my head on the pillow. Blank. Now. Yeah, now. <laughs> At first, I was rather offended and taken aback by this comment. Okay, I was like, "From the back, you wouldn't." Yeah, well, well, you know, yeah, but uh, (laughs) I was like, "No." Um, I uh, so and I, I I was offended and taken aback. But then I started to think about it, and I was like, "You know what? No, (laughs) I work very hard." Okay, I'm. I do stand up comedy. That involves standing up. <laughs> and if I want for to... rarely more than ten minutes, though. To <laughs> well, how long does sex last? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's not even fucking ten minutes, is it? All right. <laughs> I work very hard. I. I'm an independent woman, and do you know what? My favorite activity is lying down. Okay, I back that. Yeah, yeah. So. I would like to enjoy that whilst also having sex. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. fair. No, I get that. I don't judge you either. Thank um, you. Be- I Beth you. is Beth is very much in the uh, in, in this, the same. Beth is very much is. the same. But uh, and I'm, I'm all right with it as well because there's something about it that I quite like. I'm like, charge. yeah, you fucking stay there. Do you know what I mean? I like that. Nah. But it has got into summertime and I am tired of doing all the work. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah, I, yeah. I relate to that. I, like not, not being the pillow princess, <laughs> but I've got the spirit of a pillow princess. Imagine you with the pillow princess. I want to be the pillow princess. <laughs> I want to be the pillow princess, but I can't be because someone's got to do the work. Yeah. Yeah, but th- right. <laughs> and I have a great time doing it. That's not a jab at you, baby. Look. <laughs> Look, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lying, lying down. <laughs> no, oh, I, ju- I just think. <laughs> Do you know what? You know what, girl? Don't be embarrassed because he was lucky to be having sex with you in the first place. Okay. Girls supporting girls. I like girls that. I back that. And and just yeah, because fuck off. Um, um yeah. But this what is if, a very touchy can subject can to me, isn't it? What if a fella threw up and shat all over you? Um, That's going to be a soundbite. Again? Yeah. God. Um, <laughs> I d- I, yeah, that's yeah. making it, isn't it? I mean, if it's a one night stand, yeah. That's it. Well, this but if is it's it, like, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so that's the, that's the issue. Like, um, obviously, if like you 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 with a partner or whatever. Yeah. yeah it's it's awesome. Can like, I can I be honest? So even if it was a one night stand, I would just I'd think, ah, oh, fucking hell, what. A, like I'd feel bad for them immediately. I wouldn't be like, "Oh, you used to get up me old tell me you, you fucking tramp." You'd be surprised, be, though. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because uh, that is probably of all guy, the lads I've slept with. That would probably have been their reaction. This guy <laughs> really? seems like he was sound. He gets me into the shower. Yeah, that's Do you know what sweet. I mean? Yeah, like, there's yeah, that because yeah, there's, yeah. there's so many blokes that be like, "Will you get out? What the fuck are you doing? You've, oh, yeah, no, you're get fucking out. skunk." But, like he's, 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 he's ran to grab her a bucket. He's thinking, "Fucking hell, what's happening?" He just feels guilty because he cooked the paella. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish waiter. <Yeah. laughs> he put the finger magic in the paella. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> nah, like, yeah, babe. Honestly, and for anyone yeah. watching, that wouldn't happen to you if you just laid back and thought of England as you were supposed to. <laughs> I think I could act. Shit, it's sick. That knocks me more than anything, you know. Yeah. It's sick makes me want to be sick. Yeah, sick yeah, pops it up again for me. It does. I love it. It does. I love it. When you said, oh, oh fuck. Take the piss. <laughs> <laughs> Have I'm we out, got any out. other submissions? <laughs> uh, no, funny. I am. Um, yeah, bless her heart. 
Yeah, but it's yeah. bad. It's bad time, but I do appreciate this sent in because I enjoyed it. Um. <laughs> well, I had it. So I had it um, just on, on the pillar and stuff. I this is so irritating as well because I, I thought I was really on something that I. <laughs> so I I I had this um this method right of um <laughs> pattern pendant. Yeah. No. So um basically I was like right I know how to make it look like I'm doing more work than I am right. So what you do is, when you start, like, the kissy-kissy bit, what you do is, women out there, this is a really good tip, you, like, get on top of them, right, while you're doing the kissy-kissy-kissy bit, okay? And then when it actually starts, you go back on your back. So it looks like you've started off doing the work, but you haven't because you weren't doing anything. Yeah. yeah, and then when you go on the... You're like, oh, well, I've set this up now, you know... Good for you for, for picking up on the advances. You just um, ruin my sex life. That's what happens to me all the time. There you go. You get she to have sex. It. What's the fucking problem? Yeah, I do. <laughs> that, was, oh, no, that was weird. <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that you oh, didn't yeah. like that. I, did. I do. I remember now. Yeah, I do get to have sex. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, God, do, you oh. make me uncomfortable. But the, but, but the issue with that was is that the, the said person who referred to me as Pillar Princess um, knows me very, very well. And when I said... You know, well, I initially, like, you know, and he went, don't think I don't know what you're fucking doing. And I was like, I saw right through you. But, like, most men probably right know. Do you know me. what I mean? But they're just, they're just out of it. They just let it happen. Yeah, no you point. should be fucking lucky. Yeah. He's getting sex. I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And what if I'm asleep? It's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you want to have one? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got a couple of Reddit posts here. Uh, we've been letting the guests pick, so I'm going to let you pick. Which one we do? Uh, we, we, we have been letting the guests pick, but we're not letting you pick. No. <laughs> that's where that was going. Uh, there's a few to choose from. I'm not going to do that one because it's dead long and I want to talk to you more about other stuff. That's fucking boring if that one's dead long. Uh, girl discovers her dad is a nonce. Okay. Today I fucked up when I gave a homeless boy the vegan sandwich my girlfriend made for me. Am I the arsehole for giving my ex-wife a large amount of money I won despite the anger of my girlfriend? I'm the arsehole for how I introduced my boyfriend since my friends thought he was fake. Uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a clear winner. What? The the money one. The money one. About okay. the wife and the girl. I've had this one in the notes since the... Since, like, February. And, uh, yeah, we've never, done, we've never done this one. But, yeah, we have a winner. Sweet. Okay, so Curious. this one says, Am I the arsehole for giving my ex-wife a large amount of money I won despite oh, the anger? ex-wife! Ang you didn't say ex before. He did, he did. Did he? Because I thought, did he say ex or not? Oh, he see, I it. thought he was... Oh, actually, no, I don't want to listen to that one then. We'll do another one. Uh, <laughs> you thought wife, I, girlfriend. I, yeah, yeah, I yeah, thought, yeah, like, yeah. nah, boring. I thought adultery was in there. I don't give a shit. I'm divorced. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. I don't care. Not enough drama. Yeah, I'm not asked. Um, so can we have the... the um, what was the last one? <laughs> Uh, oh no, no, the fake boyfriend. Can we have the fake boyfriend? Yeah, I don't know what this one's like. I just then I got this recently and I just threw it in because it sounded like a good title, but I I've not even read it myself. Well, to let's be have, let's um, have the fake boyfriend. If it's shit, I'll just cut it out and we'll. Okay. Like, it never happened. Uh, I'm the As I do with most of my relationships. <laughs> uh, okay, so it says, "I'm the arsehole for how I introduced my boyfriend since my friends thought he was fake." I, 26 female, have been dating my boyfriend, 27 male, for almost a year now. He works at the hospital, so his hours are all over the place. I hang out with my friends at least once a week, and we have been talking about him for a while. We were at the bar last week, and my friend Ella came over and handed me a number. She told me that the guy passed it to her to give to me. Basically said he was interested, and you could use a fun time out. My friends giggled and told them I had a boyfriend. Sorry, stop right there. Stop right there. Who the fuck says... <laughs> I think she's fit and I'm after a fun time. No, fuck off. I said that to me mum after the guy dog girl closed the door. She went, go chase her son. I think that's what the friends have said. To well, the your girl. friends are fucking stupid. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb. Stop. I'm going to go out on a limb, okay? Americans. Uh, so they yeah. are fucking stupid then. Yeah, 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 yeah fair yeah. enough. Yeah, that yeah. is very American. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, my friends giggled and I told them I have a boyfriend. Ella said, sure you do, and rolled her eyes. I asked what that meant, and my other friend jumped in. They haven't met in... Uh, jumped, jumped it, that says. I should have pre read this. I'm sorry. They are though. stupid, aren't they? <laughs> they haven't met him for the whole time we've been dating. They have been to my place, and none of his stuff is there. I don't have pictures on my phone, and we both don't use social media much. She puts a number in my hand and says, have a good time with someone that actually exists. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking kids. has got claws, mate. We have... <laughs> 
<laughs> We've asked to meet him multiple times, but I have cancelled every time. We have asked to meet him multiple times. They have asked they, to meet him. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah, a yeah. fucking moron. I wish I'd proofread this. I'm, I'm glad uh, my boyfriend's fake. <laughs> They have asked to meet him multiple times, but I have cancelled every time. I was pretty pissed at this point and soon left. I told my boyfriend and he was shocked and told me you will meet them next time we hang out. We are just busy people. I bring him as a surprise to the hangout and introduce him. I told him these were my, f- I told him these were my friends who thought I was a liar. He then lectures her about trying to get their friend hooked up and how immoral it was. Ellis stood up and told him to fuck off and that she wished she wasn't real since he was a bellend. <laughs> The rest of them also left after calling me an ass about how I handled this. One said a picture would have worked fine and they don't need lectures from a complete stranger. And that's the whole. All right. I don't feel like that was worth all the fucking. Uh, that but, that alas. is. Right, first of all, <laughs> Ella is a bitch. <laughs> she can fuck off. I back her though. No, I back her. I'm, 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 I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> She's a bitch for how she was like, um, okay, not really real. Oh, oh, like, okay. American, I like that. Yeah. Um, uh, but him waltzing in and yeah. being like, uh, how immoral of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually think it's really disrespectful. To a fuck group off. dynamic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. doesn't know. Oh, fuck you, He could you, have said mate. anything, but with uh, that energy. I don't like anyone in that story. <laughs> no. <laughs> then honestly, yeah, yeah. There, is, there are no Even heroes there, she in went, that. Oh, here he is. He said you ain't fuck. She said that one. Yeah, up. so she's made it eggy. Yeah. She's made it so eggy. No, Why no. couldn't she just Well, be actually, like, I do exist, and I think that he's been... Like, he set her up to do that, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, uh, honestly, they I reckon there's so much more to the story, though. Do you know I'm what I mean? Like, she them. sent this in from her perspective, albeit missed out a lot of the fucking words that were needed. But, like... <laughs> <laughs> she's a fucking idiot, and I hate her. Yeah, um, I do. <laughs> but oh. I reckon if we heard it from Ella's point of view, I don't reckon... I don't reckon story. he is real. I don't reckon he's real. I reckon that's, like, a cousin or something. <laughs> yeah, she's just been, been like... Just she's fed them the script. Can, can you pretend to be my boyfriend, please? And, like, brought him in. <laughs> And um, and work like, on me. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, we've been role playing, and uh, we're just wondering. <laughs> we've been role playing all night. We're just wondering if you wanted to just come up and basically have a little bit. I of always it. make fake boyfriends. <laughs> but I was if like you're... on night out. Like I, I, I will. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah. I bet that. Yeah, no. Yeah, like, fair. like honest, like if if say if say if we were say if we went out like after this, and like someone was like Trying being horrific on. to me, I literally will whoever's next to me. So say if you you were next mm. to me, I just go yeah, I'm with my fella. And just like me, like I just, I have to like, yeah, yeah. I do it with bless and Callum Oakley all the time. Um, like, hey, you're, you're punching there, girl. I am, I know. <laughs> He's a I beautiful know. man. I know. Um, but no, I back that completely because I've had conversations like with exes and with Beth and stuff. And like, if she, if she says she's not interested, they carry on, they try, they go, this means try harder. As soon as she says, I've got a boyfriend, they've got more respect for the man. It's yeah, bad, isn't it? It's fucking, it is it's bad. It's, it's all, They don't always stop. They don't, they don't all have respect for the but, man. <laughs> yeah, but like the fact that they'll go, oh, sorry, I didn't realise. But like, what happened when I said no four yeah, times? Yeah, yeah, Why yeah, was yeah. that not enough? Fucking idiots. Um, yeah. Rebecca had, uh, Rebecca went on like a night out with her mates and she had this uh, fella uh, come over to them and he was chatting to them. He was from Bulgaria. It was Mike Yannick. No, he was from... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was from Budapest. That was it. <laughs> Will Watergun. And he was talking to them. Rebecca was like, oh, yeah, pew, pew, pew. He pew, was pew. like, I've been to Budapest. And he was, she was chatting. He bought them drinks. And she was like, well, I'll have a free drink, whatever. And then he got bit prog- he got progressively bladdered. And then he was buying them drinks when they like were like, no, it's fat. And he was putting them in front. And then he just came up to... This was his chat up line. He came up to my wife and he went, sex. That is all. <laughs> And she went, no, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Kind regards back. Yeah. <laughs> I want to just lay all his cards on the table. Six. Six. That is all. <laughs> that is all. That is, that is amazing. I, I'm going to suggest someone try that. <laughs> there is a man out there that would make that work. Callum Oakley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd go with him. It is funny oh. actually because like, I spoke to Callum before and I think he's actually mentioned this, but he's got no game oh, whatsoever. No, he's got and he's absolutely game. beautiful. He's got I mean? no game. He's so wasted. He's I, so he wasted. Not, no, no, I once heard him say to a girl, um, I was outside. It was back when he appreciate back this? When I used to smoke. Yeah, he doesn't. I don't fucking yeah. care. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I love him. He's my best friend. I can say what I fucking want. Um, he, uh, we, 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 I was outside. It was back when I used to smoke, and um, and he was telling this girl like she's quite attractive. And, uh, and I wasn't really paying attention. And I just heard him go to her. So, um, what colour are your bins? Oh, my God. Oh my and I God. literally went, are you fucking messing? And he was going, 
<laughs> like, like, what? You like MC'd the girl. <laughs> what clothes you been? <laughs> what do you do for a living? Yeah. Yeah. Who are you with? Who are you with? You with? And I went, Callum, should we go inside to get a drink? And he went, I was like, you're not getting. <laughs> like, you're not winning she this. She pulled mate. up in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, not, you're not winning this fella. In. Honestly, uh, God, for just a bit him. of context for anyone that's not from the northwest of England, Liverpool have a thing where if you're not from Liverpool, then you don't have a purple bin. Or you do have a purple bin. But, but Callum's from the Widdle no, anyway, so what does bin. it matter? Yeah, got that, you. Maybe so, that was his way of saying that. I'm from the Widdle. No, yeah. it wasn't. He's just got why no you trying, game. Why are you trying to. Why are you trying to Widdle represent. Him? Yeah, big up. He's got no game. And he's uh, beautiful and he's wonderful. That makes me feel good, though. You can't have it all, lad. If anyone out there wants to sleep with Callum Oki, please send your applications to me and I will review them and get back to you in three to five working days. I'll have it ready. Wait, what email do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Just Wanted Instagram. for a while, he's a beautiful man. He's um, not going to come back on. Okay, we did a feature on here ages and ages ago and then we stopped doing it and I don't really know why, but then we brought it back on Hatties and it was fucking great. So I want to ask you what the worst moment of your life is, what the worst thing you've ever done to yourself, someone else, anything like that. We asked for it for listeners, but we, we stopped doing it with guests and I don't know why. Have you got anything? I like I like the way that you've brought it back for me because you know yeah. I've done so scum, many scum. Well, it's funny. We talked about uh, the fact that we, we were recording with you on Hattie's episode and I was like, I really, because we before Hattie, we recorded with Alison June Smith. Yeah, yeah. And she was just joy. She's just so lovely. She's so positive. Palette and cleanser. then Hattie just went and fucking put the record straight. And I was like, we're going to carry on that with Kay. On my yeah, day. yeah. <laughs> right, and that negativity train. <laughs> <laughs> Every guest is doing that at the minute. Like, oh. Spread negativity. Um, the, the the first thing that like spring like probably sprung to mind when you said the worst thing I've ever done to someone else was I I once ran away on a first date, like literally ran away. So I met like Couch to Five K ran. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sarah Miller consideration. <laughs> you do right, duck. Off you go. Yeah. Five. <laughs> For. You're doing really Wait. well, Flower. You're doing really yeah. well, Flower. Um, I actually listened to Sarah Milliken when I did my Couch to 5K. I did as well. I don't want I didn't know you could. I did it No, well, and yeah. do you know what? I This is so true. Oh, Because I was that... I forgot that she was only in my ears. And at one point, I remember I was running past a family. It was during COVID as well. Ran past family. And all they hear was me going... Oh, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> They're just like... Not you, like, Sarah Milliken. 30 more seconds. 30 more, and I'm like, fuck off, Sarah! Like, oh, anyway. uh, yeah, so... You like um, I went on a, a first date. It was off Hinge. And I agreed to it when I was drunk. Um, and then, obviously, I couldn't back out. So well, you like, could. No, you couldn't. You actually no, had you every have... right to, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah, But, you know, he was paying for me food, so... Well. <laughs> um, girl got her eat. Yeah, girl got her eat. Um, and uh, we went on a date. And honestly, I mean, you have met me. And if I can't, have, if yeah. I can't get a conversation out of you... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Oh, I, I would love to watch that, though. Uh, I would was, love to watch you struggle getting oh, it a was, conversation it was out painful. of someone. But the issue was, was that um, we went... To, so I went for something to eat on Duke Street Market, and then he was like, where do you want to go? And I thought, you know what? I'm going to take you to places that I like, because at least then I'll have a nice time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we went to a couple more places, and every time I went to the bar... I was going, I'm on a fucking all you first day. And they were like, here's a shot. Or there's a triple measure. Do you know what I mean? Like, they, yeah, they were yeah. lovely. So I got Levered. ross and drunk. And we were in another place, and he, said, he went to me, I remember, he, we sat down, and he went, so who were your top five England players? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's better than our, what colour are you been? Wait, so. even better. What did you say? Because if you listed them, I'll have, have so much respect for you. I, if I, you were I, like Pickford. I did. I went, I went, obviously. I went, Jordan Pickford, because I love him. Um, and I can't, I can't re remember who, who else I said. Pickford, um, we know Chloe was done. That's yeah, number pick, two. Yeah, Pickford. Pickford acoustic. Pickford remix. <laughs> Pickford, Pickford drum and bass version. Um... I can't, I can't mem remember who I said because I was rotten, but I, I did half list them. Um, and then I think he, he said something along the lines <laughs> of they didn't play in the 2018 World Cup. Uh, and I was like, oh, you can fuck off. So then we uh, were walking. I hate this guy. So we were walking to, the, to, to wherever we were going. And my mum was on her works night out. And we were walking past the place that my mum was in. And anyone who knows me knows how bad the state was that I then chose to go and see my mother in. <laughs> <laughs> And I literally, and I am not even lying when I say this, 
So it was. It's. I think it's close down now. The, the the green rooms on uh, Duke, Duke Street. I know where it was. Yeah. yeah, but it's as you go in, it's down the stairs. So you literally you go in, you're down the stairs. Yeah. Um, and I, honest to God, went. I said something like, "See that building? My mate lives in there." And when he looks, I ran. Bolted it. You say <laughs> bolted it. And I ran. And I ran. And I ran. You were doing in. an impression of an England player. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. Because um, when you say run away, that could just mean like. No, no, no. Off, I full on. But full on. Went into headphones that place, in. Eat, like, trainers was in, on. And I ran down the I love stairs. the idea that you started like fucking. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, go. Um, yeah, I got VAR out to make sure I wasn't offside. Yeah, yeah. Um, ran in. And like, I was, my mum went, what the fuck are you doing here? And I was like, that date was awful, mum. She went, oh, okay. You just get, get a drink. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get a drink. <laughs> um, And I had a full bottle of wine in under half an hour. Threw up on Seal Street. And then tried to get into Largo. And they wouldn't let me in. <laughs> didn't want to didn't go home Turns after that. Turns out the bouncer to, was the date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tried to go meet our Emily in Largo and couldn't get in. And to this day, I still don't know how I got him. I think he deserved it, though. I hope that was a reality check for him. I hope he reflected, no, yeah. No, 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 where did yeah. I go wrong? He texts me. Oh, no. Saying, where did you go? With, like, a crown laughing face. And the next morning, went, oh, I hope you enjoy shopping with your dad. Let me know what you get. What? I didn't let him know what I got. Oh, so you said that tomorrow you're going shopping. Yeah. I, I thought, you, I I thought he just told himself she must have seen her dad and gone shopping. No, <laughs> <laughs> no bless him. Yeah, he, he tries again the next day. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. Oh, and at that point God. when he texted me, I was in Central Station crying because a seagull flew too close to my head. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hungover. And he texted me. I said, oh, fuck off. <laughs> I just so that is the worst thing. The that level I've ever of done. denial in that guy's, you know, know to think him. she couldn't possibly have. Do you know what? Left. I can't for the life of me remember his name. I don't know. Boring oh, McBoring. Jamie Hutchinson. Top <laughs> 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 oh, five. That is fucking hell. Uh, this has been loads of fun. Kay, thank you for coming on. Yeah, really uh, if you're new it, to mate. the podcast and you're watching because Kay's on, then thanks. We appreciate it. And we do a section at the end called Off Your Chest, where you invite the guest or a listener or anyone really to get something off their chest. So, Kay, have you got anything you want to get off your chest? Uh, yes. Uh, well, I've already talked about it, but I'm going to do it again. There's nothing fucking wrong with being a pillow princess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go up my chest because I've been dealing with it a lot lately and there's no wrong with it. I just want to sit still and enjoy myself. Leave me alone. But also don't leave me alone. Because um, <laughs> the girl's got to eat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Joe, sometimes, like, I I edit the full episode, Liam edits the clips, and the, the, the intro can be really irritating because yeah. we just have the intro music and then we've got to find sound bites to go over it and it's a real pain in the ass sometimes. You've made my job so easy. <laughs> like, honestly, you keep doing you. You're a pillow princess. I really appreciate you. I am you. a pillow princess. I'm fine with it. In fact, I'm not a pillow princess. I'm a pillow fucking queen. All there right. we go. There it is. All there right. it is. All there hail. it is. <laughs> uh, in that she looks like she's dead when she's lay there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I also killed Diana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, have you got anything you want to plug? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram uh, at K Nicholson Comedy. Um, on Twitter, K Nicholson with a double Y. Um, uh, when's this going out? Uh, July 25th, I want to uh, say. Okay. Something like that. Um, no, twenty fourth, I think. Twenty fourth. Yeah. Uh, yep, I'm always, I'm on the circuit a lot. Um, all my gigs are on um, my Instagram. So Sweet. yeah, come down. Yeah, got definitely some big things K. in the pipeline. Uh, big yes. things, very exciting stuff. Thanks for coming on. Give us three things that you hate: Shirley Ballas, Northern Rail, and Tuna. 